today's project diary I will show you how I made a free trellis from salvage pipes. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. In today's video I want to teach you how I made a free trellis for the garden. Uh, now before I get loads of negative messages this is how I made it for free. It's just an option on how you can do it. Um, Project Diaries is basically my own personal diary of uh, learning new tricks and new skills. Um, and obviously there's many other ways that you can do things so I'm just trying to show you how I do it personally. Uh, now in the diagram you can see uh, an older trellis that I got from a garden centre at the end of uh, last autumn um, and I was really worried that this was going to be a little bit too heavy and tip up the square foot garden. Uh, if you haven't seen my square foot gardening video the links above here. Um, so what I needed to do is just design something that was really cheap, uh, free and it would have a little bit more give in the wind and this is how I did it. So as you can see I've taken it down because there was actually no give in it for the wind at all and I was really worried about it breaking this part of the bed. So I've managed to salvage three different lengths of pipe and some string. So the smaller one I'm going to use as the top piece and then the other two are going to be for the sides. So measuring out the top piece first, uh, my square foot garden is four foot so this piece needs to be four foot as well. Now obviously my life would have been a lot easier if I had a workmate or a table to cut this on but as I'm at granddad's he hasn't got any tools so I'm just working with the basics. Then get your two side pieces, lay them next to each other and mark them out so they're the same length and cut them accordingly. Now thankfully two of these pipes came with end pieces like this so they're just going to slot onto the end and that should work really well with the top piece. Next up I'm going to mark 8 inch gaps. This will give me an idea of where I want to place the string so it will give me a nice grid. Once I've finished marking those out I'm going to drill a hole all the way through the pipe this will allow me to thread the string through so it won't slip under the weight of any plants that are growing on it. Then do exactly the same 8 inch spaces with the top piece. Now I managed to salvage these brackets from another skip raid a few months ago and luckily they fit exactly the right size. So get a scrap piece of pipe and make sure you can drill the holes accordingly. It's always best to countersink the holes if you can, that will make the screws go in a lot straighter. Now these screws are way too long for this job but it's all I've managed to salvage so I'm just going to use them anyway. I've made sure I've screwed into the main structural support of the box, this will give it more stability. That's not a bad job, it feels really solid but I do have some extra brackets so I'm going to use two just in case. So I've finished both sides and I'm a lot happier using the two brackets, it seems to give it a lot more strength and it looks really good as well. Now if you're not confident about threading the string through, here's a quick idea on how to make it easy. So the final job today is to string up the trellis. All you need to do is get yourself a coat hanger, some wire cutters, and then make yourself a little needle like this. That'll make it a lot easier threading it through the holes. So I'm just going to do that now. So as I've not tried this before and I'm still unsure on what I'm going to grow up against this trellis and what kind of weight it needs to take, I'm going to do a bit of an overkill and wrap it round two or three times. Uh, then I'm going to wrap it round on itself and tie a couple of knots. Hopefully that will give enough support to take the weight on any kind of plant. And before you mention it, yes I know my thumbnail is really long. <laughs> I don't have them all the time but they come in handy for many jobs including playing acoustic guitar for the intro music.
So that technique seems to be working quite well. So I'm just going to finish off the same technique for all the horizontal ones. And then I'm going to make just a slight change for the verticals from top to bottom. So here are all the horizontal ones that are finished. I did cut off any of the extra string just to tidy it up a little bit. And the vertical ones are virtually the same. All I've done is twisted them around on itself, tied the knots, but what I've done is wrapped it around once to all the horizontal ones uh, and that should give it a bit more stability to stop it moving around uh, and it seems to be quite well. Uh, you just twist it around once or twice on each piece of string and then just tie it in at the bottom. So I've done exactly the same thing all across the top and that's pretty much done. Hopefully this has given you a good idea on how to make your own trellis for free and that should have completed your square foot garden setup. If you like this please give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment of any ideas you have for yourself. One of my next videos will be how to plant up a square foot garden but until then happy gardening and good luck this season. If you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases don't forget to subscribe now. Here are some great new playlists for some of my other videos. And if you've tried these or any of my other projects, I'd love to see your progress, so please post some photos on my Facebook gardening group. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.